Dear Creative Assembly, I am in general a massive fan of your games, and have been so for what now amounts to most of my life, which is kind of crazy to think about. I began playing Total War games around age 13, gasping over the insane detail and scale of Rome and Medieval 2. These games were revolutionary, not just for their time, but compared to every other game out there. And the visual fidelity? So important in Total War games because it conveyed not just the scale of it all, but the realism the historical backdrop was aiming for, improved drastically from game to game. Total War innovated again with Empire, as that classic warfare style was brought into the modern era, swapping swords and axes for not just rifles and cannons, but even massive warships. Of course, Total War has innovated since 2009, bringing a world of fantasy and both giant and flying enemies to the battlefield. But I'll be real with you for a minute. As much as these last factors alters the visual aspect of the battlefield, they don't actually change all that much. Giant spiders don't really come with appropriate animations other than ramming the enemy, and conversely, there's very little other than just stabbing or slashing against the spider that the soldiers do. They don't actually try to cut off its legs, climb it or stab it in the eyes or something. And when fighting flying enemies, they're not trying to grab their wings and cut them off. And even for the fights between legendary lords, it's not like they're actually fencing in dynamic fights. They're actually just playing individual fight animations like everyone else, not really taking into account the enemy's size or weapons, and certainly not trying to defend themselves against incoming attacks with parries or whatever. What I'm trying to say here is that instead of innovating deep, Total War Battles has at least since Empire only seen surface level changes, and not necessarily improvements either. And by the way, while I have you here, only 9% of people watching this video are subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy my content guys, it would mean so much to me if you made a simple click and sub to the channel. It really goes a long way in helping my content reach further, and hopefully help you in knowing when there's new content to be enjoyed. I'd really appreciate it. It used to be that units actually needed to build ladders pre-battle to be able to use them, while these days, it's enough to simply click on a wall to have soldiers magically spawn them out of their ass. And then there's actually getting to the ramparts, where moving through a tower has been replaced with… this? Warhammer 3 did admittedly try, bringing buildable towers to fortified settlements and mixing them with capture points, but it kinda comes off as even more arcadey than before, and even further makes the Warhammer series battles, at least to me, feel like who can click the fastest rather than who has the best tactics. Attila did something interesting when it added defensive structures, which could be erected before battle, but they kind of ended up being more cumbersome than actually useful, and even though capture points in siege battles is an alright mechanic, the fact that stone towers just crumbled before you is really awkward. Empire of course also added a type of defensive structure, allowing cannons to hide behind sandbag-like defenses and for units to put up ramps. And this type of defender mechanic did remain in the series up until and including Attila at least. No matter whether we're talking history or fantasy, I believe Total War games deserve better. And I also believe that Total War battles in particular are overdue for a new revolution. And I'm not just talking details here, as detail is kind of what I've laid out so far. You see, what I really want to see, and what I think Total War has to do at some point, is to rethink its approach to battles entirely. Since its inception, Total War has been focused on and limited to battles that generally vary between including 500 and 8,000 soldiers on the field at once, give or take a few thousand. These numbers remain massive compared to other series of course, but Total War is different at its very core. The reason why we have thousands of soldiers in the first place is because Total War is all about simulating the massive battles of history, at least in a more believable way than other games do. This means that scale is important to Creative Assembly and the Total War series, and that it always has been important. The scale was absolutely impressive 10 and 20 years ago, but the fact that this current scale remains is somewhat disappointing. Typical battles in Rome 2 do again rarely reach over 8 to 10,000 units, while the larger Roman battles of history saw dozens of thousands of Roman soldiers on their side alone. The major battles of the Napoleonic Wars were even larger, with the Battle of Austerlitz seeing about 70,000 French troops face off against around 90,000 Austrian and Russian soldiers. In other words, the major battles of Total War are typically 10 times smaller than their historical counterparts, and while this seems like a luxury when compared to other series, the fact that I love Total War so much means that I also hold it to a higher standard and expect more from what is arguably the most successful and highest budget strategy game of all time. 
The reason that numbers to this extent has not been accomplished yet is in my opinion twofold. Perhaps the most important reason is the question of performance. Total War games are far and beyond the most beautiful strategy games out there, with nothing else really coming close. With thousands of men on the battlefield, this obviously has an impact on performance, and considering that not everyone is running the absolute most powerful hardware at all times, it can be a hard pivot to make, especially when performance already remains an issue with this series. In other words, CA would have to come up with some new way to render each unit and their battlefields, because obviously at the current stage, units are difficult to render when multiplied by the thousands. These are highly detailed and individualized models after all. A single unit more detailed today than what could have been imagined 20 years ago. And with high resolution textures, there's even more pressure put on the hardware. However, we do have some glimmers of hope here. First of all, Total War games have been better at optimization in the past 3 years than in the previous 20, sporting beautiful visuals with even higher frame rates. If this optimization is allowed to continue, we could see new additions make it to the battlefield in due time, or at least make it easier to play battles that sport 10 to 20,000 units rather than the regular 5 to 10. The other point of hope is that other games are making strides in new rendering techniques, like for example Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Obviously, there are different things going on in the background here, like the fact that Total War likely has a much more complex AI making calculations and whatnot. But the fact that Ultimate Epic can portray battles with millions of soldiers fighting it out is actually very impressive. And I do believe, in my ignorant non-programmer brain, that a similar paradigm shift is possible for Total War as well. There was a time in history when PC games on average were much harder to run, when you really needed those higher-end rigs or even future hardware to really feel the potential of PC games. The original Crisis is just one example, of course, and even though the fact that PC gaming has become so popular is amazing, I think it's also lost some of that charm in its potential, some of that awe-inspiring sensation. There was just no way I could run Crisis on anything higher than low to medium settings when it released, and it of course became a sensation for it. And not because of bad optimization, but because of the sheer visual feast that Crytek served up. I don't necessarily think the solution to Total War's innovation problem is to make it inaccessible to players. But number one, that's of course what graphics options are for. And number two, Total War games are often already inaccessible due to poor optimization. And three, sometimes true innovation demands making certain sacrifices in order to see exponential future gains. And after so many years of basically the same battles only with different skins, I really believe Total War and its fans are ready for another revolution. No longer making the leap from 2D to 3D, but from simulated army numbers to actual realistic army sizes, and having it take place in cities or towns that actually feel like real towns and cities. Do you think Total War has reached its potential, or do you want more? Let me know your ideas and thoughts in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and sub to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.